Welcome my darlings, I'm Melly and I'm here with you today because I felt really drawn to share this message with you. So lately I have been getting, you know, this download again and again and um, it's more about, you know, people that are feeling overwhelmed, stressed, anxious right now. If you are in one of these states or, you know, maybe you are feeling all over the place, maybe you are finding difficulty, you know, to really mm, ground yourself, ground your feelings, then this message is for you. So, I, you know, Spirit has been connecting with me. And they were saying that many of us, in the process of becoming adults, we forgot how to be kids. And I don't mean like kids, uh, like um, in the Peter Pan way, like forever young, not uh, one responsibility in my head. But, you know, it's more about our heart space and how our heart space has become like stiff, has uh, become hardened because we really had, you know, to protect our heart from what we have been dealing with. And I know, I, I get you, you know, that's not an easy thing, you know, like to be of this world and feel all these feelings and still like, you know, keep in touch with your emotions. But you know, um, I have been, uh, I have been really drawn to say that spirit really wants you to connect with your inner magic. Many of us don't believe that you know magic exists. We really think that magic is something that is happening in the movies, maybe like. You know, like you take a magic wand and then you do a spell and something miraculously appears or disappears. But spirit really wants you to know that magic is way more than that. Magic exists in our everyday life. It exists... Um, when we receive a sign or a synchronicity, when our intuition is telling us something, it exists um, when we are, you know, when we are feeling lost, but we still believe, we still believe in the impossible. We still believe that, you know, our the universe has our back. And... Um, that requires a lot of faith and I was hearing that this faith can only be uh, achieved with um, a sincere and pure heart and I don't mean like pure in the way of oh you have done something bad so now you cannot achieve that like spirit can um, you know can accept us all and it's up to it's one of us journey like what they are doing and how they are you know continuing with their lives but the i'm using the term pure here as like a pure heart like a child's heart something that is really believing like uh, when you see children like play you can really see them that they can take everything around them they can see um you know they can see the invisible they can see the uh things that we as adults sometimes uh you know have lost contact with their fantasies running wild and um, that's a very beautiful space and spirit says that um, it is uh, also helpful uh, if you are feeling stuck right now 
if you are feeling overwhelmed or anxious, if you are feeling that um, you know your manifestations are not coming, there is a specific level of trust that needs to be cultivated and everything starts here in your heart space, in the energetic field around your heart space that is really helping you to you know um, trust that everything will be okay everything will be all right you have your spirit guys you have a whole team even if you are alone right now trust that you know your people are coming trust that you you will meet people that will exceed you know your expectations and also trust that when you feel something with your intuition it's probably the right thing and our intuition is not something um you know that is governed by fear or by the ego like our intuition is like being really connected with our bodies and realizing what we feel at each moment without letting this feeling governing us, you know, like when I'm feeling fear about something, I realize like, is that my ego? Is that, you know, some previous experience? Is that something that I'm seeing right now and I don't want, you know, to... Um, you know to acknowledge what's it um, and spirit is saying also that you know many of us don't believe don't believe in magic in that specific way like that miracles are not happening miracles are happening every day every day in your life like if you only understand you know how invisible forces are working for you for your highest good you will realize that miracles are happening every day and uh, there is no need you know for um for something to happen in a very you know outrageous way in order to prove that miracles are happening i am sure that each and every one of you have an experience that you know uh, in the past you were in a specific situation where you felt that nothing was happening and then you know after years you learned something or you know the truth you put the puzzle into pieces and then you know, boom, you realize that you were so protected at the time. Like, realize that you are protected also now, even if you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, you are protected. Spirit is saying also that um, magic is invisible to those who do not believe if you do not believe that you have all that you have the protection of the universe that you know you have the connection with your spirit guides if you do not believe that everything around you is a miracle then there is no magic that doesn't seem um, you know many would say that if I don't believe then it doesn't exist like sometimes that's not true sometimes is that things exist but you know they are not visible to us so that's the main difference if you difference i'm sorry if you do not believe in something that doesn't make it um you know not being there but that makes it totally invisible to you like if you don't realize how much you are protected, you will still be protected by your spirit guides, but you know, you will not uh, see it and appreciate it in the whole like um, way that it is happening in your life. 
so I was uh, really drawn to come here today to share this message for, for you, like to share this message to you um, that there is magic happening around us and there is a certain level of trust and opening in our heart space that will really uh, help us move forward from this uh, stuck energy and I want to draw a card for you just to help you more um, let's see what more we will get from our spirit guides you know it's just like um, when children were playing and um, you know I'm sorry when children are playing and they can really create something out of everything like they see a tree and they make it like a dragon they see I don't know flowers and they make it into fairies this is something beautiful you know like not only having uh, like the trust but also having um, the the vision you know uh, like keeping the vision alive uh, that's also very important a very important quality for many of us we are really drawn and we are really called to go back in that specific um, you know like energetic uh, the, the specific energetics of our heart space like when we were younger when we were children you know some things uh, it's sometimes out of our hands like when we have to grow up you know, when we have to face difficulties, sometimes it's essential for us, you know, to harden, to, to be in another space just for a specific amount of time in order to protect ourselves. But now spirit is saying that it is safe. It is safe. You can open up again. Like there comes a time and the period in your life where you are going to rejoice um, with everything that you really wanted like I'm seeing that your manifestations are coming and you know your spirit guides are really proud of you and they are asking you to when you see something beautiful coming your way really accept that and really understand that it's for you like it's yours to take and uh, yeah that requires um, a lot of opening um, of the heart space we have on the back of the deck the, st the seven star sisters birthing creations tapestry of life expression yeah I love that um, it has uh, this um, birthing creations uh, you know statement I really believe that uh, things are being woven things uh, are being woven for us and we need to have faith in the invisible but also like really open our heart space and when things get better really accept you know everything that is coming our way really accept that um, this is for us like this is not for anyone else we also have star keeper cosmic ancestors seed the light by staying grounded yeah they really want you to stay grounded to stay uh, in your essence to really find again your footing in this world and also we have inner earth you will survive this new solutions and beginnings yeah I love this inner earth card for you because it really indicates for me that there is a new place and space that is uh, it's been created for you inside you like 
you are really called to to find this space inside of you find and cultivate it as much as you can like do things that really um, get you into your magic uh, side into your believing side into your I know miracles are for me side I am grateful you know for everything that I'm seeing and I know sometimes it may be difficult uh, but you know when you tune yourself into this mode into really like finding what's happening uh, for you and not to you there is a certain amount of magic that is required you know for all these things to happen for you to meet certain people for you to overcome certain obstacles for you to go i don't know in a specific place and then find something you know um something that was meant for you you know so that was the main message and thank you so much for watching comment down below if you're really feeling this energy too if you are feeling an opening into your heart space if you are doing more things that you remind that they remind you of your childhood maybe you are drawing more or stuff like that maybe you are like um you know you are embracing your inner child and with in which ways i would love to hear and yeah thank you again and fear nothing i believe in you bye